Okay, um, today we have a lecture that should not take too long. Uh, it just deals with the factors that affect the rate of a reaction. So in the first video lecture, we learned about the collision theory, where atoms, ions, molecules have to collide, and they have to collide effectively in order for a reaction to occur. The more collisions, or the more effective the collision, the greater the rate of reaction. So today, we're going to look at the factors that affect the rate of a reaction. How can we get more collisions? And the first is the nature of the reactants. If the particles that are reacting only require a slight rearrangement of bonding or electron arrangement, then the reaction can happen quickly. Ionic substances dissolved in water have already broken up into positive and negative ions. They can react very quickly. The second factor is concentration. If we cram more particles into a fixed volume, we increase the concentration of the reactants. If you increase the concentration of the reactants, you're going to increase collisions and you're going to increase the reaction rate. So here we see there's a candle and in the right hand picture, the candle is put in a jar of pure oxygen and we see that the candle burns brighter because there's more oxygen molecules that can react. If we increase the pressure on a gas, we have the same effect. We put the same amount of gas into a smaller volume and we can increase the reaction rate. That's how a four-stroke four cycle engine works in our modern cars. There is a compression phase that compresses the gas into a smaller volume before ignition um, allows the gas to combust. So by increasing the pressure, we can increase the concentration of a gas. The third factor is particle size. The smaller the particle size, the greater the surface area for the same given mass. And if we increase the surface area, we increase the amount of reactant exposed which increases the collisions and the reaction rate. So here we see a piece of iron that is um, together. And here they broke up the iron or they put in a piece of steel wool in place and we see it can react faster uh, with oxygen. So the greater the surface area, the greater the rate of reaction. The fourth factor is temperature. Usually increasing the temperature speeds up a reaction and decreasing the temperature slows down a reaction. So if you increase the temperature, you increase the average kinetic energy of the particles. They have more energy to collide so they have more collisions and more effective collisions. So here we see as the temperature goes up, the rate of reaction also goes up. We put food in a refrigerator or in a freezer to slow down the rate of spoiling. The lower the temperature, the lower the rate of reaction. One last factor is a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without itself being used up. A catalyst lowers the activation energy needed to start a reaction. You have to recognize on a potential energy diagram a normal reaction and a catalyzed reaction. The catalyzed reaction happens faster because the activation energy 
is less. Notice the potential energy of the reactants do not change. The potential energy of the products do not change. Delta H does not change. The only thing that changes is the activation energy, which would also change the activated complex. An inhibitor is a substance that interferes with the action of a catalyst, so an, an inhibitor would slow down a reaction. Believe it or not, that is our lecture for today. So we kept it under six minutes. Wow. See you tomorrow.